So, just desserts for the Montesino Monas. Yeah, I think so. I mean, don't forget, in the Netflix documentary we saw a couple of months ago, there's actual footage of them moving out. So they've pretty much moved out anyway. So their claims today that they were shocked and uh, appalled by this mm. sudden news, I think, are a little bit unconvincing somehow, as we've actually seen a documentary of them moving out. Yes, indeed. And sorry, but what do they expect? They were gifted something that most people would give their left arm for. People would sell their relatives for a house like that. And then they decide to make the Queen's life miserable in her final moments, Prince Philip's life miserable in his final moments. They stick two massive fingers up at our new king and the future king, and then they're shocked, are they, when they lose the house? Yes, and don't forget, they've never actually confirmed that they're coming to the coronation. So no. it's not like they're saying, we're itching to get back. Oh, I can't wait to have another spring or summer in lovely Windsor. You know, they've never actually confirmed that they're going to be back. So when are they next going to stay at this place? Yeah, indeed. I just think it's absolutely bonkers, isn't it? And as well, it's just very, very, very ungrateful. But is this King Charles hitting back then? I think so. It happened um, the day after Spare was released, not in the days after, the day after. So it does feel like that, doesn't it? And also, we've had quite a lot of this narrative that Charles is very sympathetic towards his son and he loves his son. And, you know, but now it's time for him to be a monarch. And there have been a slight, there has been a slight feeling that it is time for him to become a monarch and start taking some action. And that's what he's doing. And I can't help wondering whether William might be encouraging some affirmative action. And don't forget, William's sort of his neighbour at Frogmore Cottage because William is at Adelaide, which is just around the corner. Mm. So he might be saying, come on, Dad, make a decision because I don't want these two around the corner anymore. No, I I'm not surprised. And, of course, it's not as if they're short of a few quid, is it? Because they've that's the price that they've charged for selling their own family and, indeed, this country down the river. I don't think many people will be shedding a tear tonight to know that Whinge and Ginge will not have a place to stay when they come to the UK. I do, however, think that maybe the gloss has been taken off this slightly by the fact that the bloke who'll be moving in is Prince Andrew. Yeah, Prince Andrew seems very resistant to moving into Frogmore Cottage. It's had a fabulous Vicky Charles Soho house makeover. And by all accounts, Royal Lodge around the corner is looking a little bit tatty. Not sure how Prince Andrew's decor taste uh, stands up to the 2023 sort of style test. If I were him, I'd be thrilled to be moving in, but apparently he's resisting quite a lot. Um, but uh, it, it seems logical to me because Royal Lodge, as you say, is 30 rooms. Um, mm. quite, it's not 30 bedrooms, but it's 30 rooms. Right. It's quite a lot for somebody who hasn't done a royal duty since 2019.